Okay, thank you, Mom. I'll take a look at her. It's her. I can't believe it. Mom wasn't lying when she said she got me a special present. Darling? Oh no. Let me get this cloth out of your mouth. Okay, I'll take it out, but promise not to scream, okay? Okay, remember not to yell, okay, darling? Be a good girl. He didn't scream, what a good girl. Why you're here? Uh, let's say my mom took you right after you locked the cafe. And before you ask why she took you, I love you. I love you so, so much. When we were at school, I always wanted to kill everyone who bullied you and everyone who made fun of you. I always wanted to make you mine. I always wanted to just take you with me. But I held myself back. Well, it took me so long to plan this that my mom took care of it herself. Where did my mom learn how to kidnap someone? Well, she's just like me. Say, do you ever wonder where your bully went after he beat you up? I killed him. <laughs> oh, sorry, have I scared you with that? You, you're thanking me? I just confessed that I killed someone and you're thanking me? And you're not even struggling against the ropes. I mean, I don't mind, but why are you so calm? That's right, I would never hurt you. Wait, did you just say that you love me? That you have a crush on me too? Okay, um... Why did you never tell me this? We could have avoided all of this. You tried, but I always made up an excuse to get away from you? Oh, right. I remember now. Well, I was too scared that I would snap when I was talking to you, because you had a lot of friends and I didn't want to hurt them, because otherwise you would have hated me. Huh? You wouldn't have minded. Why? They were your friends. Most of them were fake? Uh, I'm so sorry, darling. Which one of them wasn't fake? Amber? Well, that's not surprising. Wait, did you just say I wasn't fake? We were friends? Because I never made fun of you? Because I never judged you no matter what you did? You felt safe around me? And more? Wow, I don't know what to say. I guess we were friends, even if we never really talked to each other. But if you think that we were friends, then it's true. Huh? You always wanted to be more. I mean, that makes sense when you had a crush on me. Anyways, so... You love me, right? <laughs> Aw, your little blush is so adorable. Hey, darling, would you mind if I kissed you? You wouldn't. Okay then, let me get a little closer. I would say lay your hand on my chest if you want me to stop, but you are tied up. Hmm. Let me just free one hand. Okay, your one hand's free. So, like I said earlier, just lay your hand on my chest when you want me to stop kissing you, okay? Mm. 
Wow, you're such a good kisser, baby girl. I don't know why, but I do want to untie you. But I can't trust you not to run away yet. I hope you can understand. If you wait for a little bit, I can ask my mom if I can tie you to the bed. Which is on your left. Uh, but if you wait for a little bit, I can ask my mom if I can tie you to the bed, which is on your left. But if you want me, I could stay for the night with you down here. Down here? I'll go ask my mom then. Wait, aren't you scared of the dark? You are. I think I have a nightlight somewhere upstairs. I'll get it on my way down. But if you want, I can get some fairy lights. My mom must have some left over from last Christmas. Does cuddling calm you? Good. I hope that you like being a little spoon. Oh? You love being a little spoon? <laughs> That's cute. I'll be back in about ten. Good news. My mom says that it's safe to tie you to the bed. But I came up with a better idea. I told her that I'll sleep with you down here so she locked the door behind me. That means that I can fully untie you and don't even have to worry that you might run away. Let me just plug in the nightlight and the fairy lights. So now it's much brighter in here. Now I'll untie you, but don't try anything funny. I'm much stronger than you are. But I doubt that you would try to fight back much anyway. Alright. Uh, please be careful when standing up because the dosage might still be in your system. Wait, let me help you up. There, there. Now we go to bed. Walk slowly, okay? Now sit down on the edge, please. Good. I'm wearing my pajamas, as you can see. I got you one too, and I got you some too. And don't worry about the size, I already know it. Here, I'll help you change if you don't mind. You don't mind? <laughs> okay, I'll start with taking off your skirt. Oh wow, you're hot. But I'll hold myself back. Okay, now your shoes. I hope it's okay that I also took off your high socks. And now your arms up, please. Uh, it's really hard for me to see you like this and not do anything about it, but I really shouldn't. Anyway, here's your shirt. Arms up again, please. Now we pull up these pants. And done! You look so cute in this. <laughs> you can lay down now. Um, I can hug you from behind, or would you prefer sleeping on my chest? On my chest? Okay. Oh, and no need to stutter, darling. It's just us. <sighs> this bed is so comfortable. Okay. Put your head on my chest. Good girl. It's much better sleeping like this than alone, am I right? Hmm? What did you say, darling? I didn't hear you. I guess you're tired. I can't blame you. After all, the dosage must have made you so sleepy. Just rest, baby girl. I can scratch your back if you want. Okay, scratches are on the way. Good night, my darling. Sleep tight. <laughs>